Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay, friends, I've got my cigarette lighters. Well, I don't know if we're still calling them that. Anyway, those ports right there are not working in my Toyota Sequoia. My kids tried plugging in this little device right here that I bought on Amazon. I bought a real cheapy version of it, and I think that this is what is causing the problem. So they worked before, we plugged this guy in, and now all of a sudden these ports don't work. Something's telling me we blew a fuse. So let's dive in today, let's see if we can f solve this problem. So I'm in my other vehicle now, and I have one of these little plug-in guys right here. When I plug this one in, it's supposed to turn green. Now I'm back in the car with the problems and as you can see, it is out. The light is not on and I do have the key in the on position. So I'm under the hood now and this is the relay and fuse box. So I'm gonna open it up and let's take a look. Okay guys, I found the problem, so let me walk you through it. First of all, this little white thing right here is to help you get the fuses in and out, so I wanna use that. Second of all, these are little spare fuses right here. There's a 30, a five, and I took the 15 out already. By the way, there's a diagram on the, always with the fuse boxes. There's always gonna be a diagram that'll let you know exactly what's what. So this is the main fuse box under the hood of the Toyota Sequoia. This is a 2013, but boy, they haven't changed this vehicle in forever. There's a second fuse box that's hard to find under here. First, I thought it was this guy here. This is not, this is an airbag. Don't mess with that thing, right? But if you tuck all the way under, down by the emergency brake, and then look up in here, let's see, there you can see it. And if you look in that last spot right below that red 10, I already took out the 15 and I checked it out and I'll show you that that fuse has blown. Okay, I took the lid off just to show you guys. So this small lid covers up the fuses that are inside the vehicle up under by the emergency brake and it says 15 amp CIG or cigarette lighter. So that 15 amper is what's gonna go to these guys down here, these one, two ports, and it probably does all the ports, including the ones in the back seats as well. Okay, so you can see here, I've got a new one that I took out of the spares, and that's what it looks like right there. And this is the blown one right here. You should be pretty easily able to see that that's been blown going across there. So that little piece of metal that's intact here is not intact there. Hey, by the way, an easy way to check fuses, so you don't have to pull them all out, is you get a little um, meter like this guy here. You put it on continuity, and then if there is continuity, if the wires go all the way across, you'll hear this. And that's what you'd want. And what you can do is just see these little pieces of metal, see that little tiny piece there and that little tiny piece here. You can actually get your probes and just stick it on those two. And while it's still in the fuse box, you can determine if the fuse is blown or not. If it makes the noise, that fuse is still good. If it doesn't make the noise, that fuse is not good. Okay, I'm gonna put my fuse puller back where it goes. And boy, that is a great little tool to especially pull out the fuses. So don't lose that guy and make sure you use that when you're trying to pull it out. But like I said, if you wanted to test, like I tested every single one of these fuses just kind of for fun. And all you do is put the probes again on each one of those little metal pieces like that guy right there. Put one here and put the other probe on there and it'll let you know if that sounds, then you know you have continuity and you know that fuse is good and it's not your problem. All right, let's close it up and let's give it a test. Okay, success. You can see right there, it's back to green. So number one is we're up and working. Number two is I am pretty confident that I know what the problem is. This little stinker right here, I shouldn't have bought the cheapest one on Amazon. I did and I learned a lesson. Anytime you blow a fuse like that, there's gonna be a reason why it blows. Right? There's gonna be something that's not working right in the electrical, a short or something like that. And I think this is it right here. So a couple more tips and tricks with the fuses. Always make sure, like on that one, I pulled out a 15 amp fuse. I have to replace it with a 15 amp fuse. So make sure, don't play games and putting in the wrong sizes because you don't have the right one. Look in the links down below and I'll show you um, how you can buy a whole bunch of mix match fuses so you'll always have the right one on hand. I'll also put a link to a pretty inexpensive but very good multimeter. All right guys, listen, I hope you appreciated this. Do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.